He first came on this show in 1979 to show us his first major record album, Greatest Science Fiction Hits, which included Close Encounters, Superman, Alien, Star Wars, One Step Beyond, Godzilla, and The Outer Limits, which is what you're hearing right now. You met him again with The Greatest Science Fiction Hits Part 2, this time with Twilight Zone, Empire Strikes Back, Buck Rogers, Time Tunnel, Superman, and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Now comes the third album in the series, this time featuring Return of the Jedi, E.T., Lost in Space, The Prisoner, The Thing, Angry Red Planet, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. And here he is to dazzle your musical ear, the man who prepared these albums, Neil Norman. Hi, Neil. And you know, it's amazing to me, uh, you keep coming up with all of these themes. Do you keep a master list of the music that you would like to get on these albums, and is it inexhaustible? Well, I feel as though now with these three albums, I've kind of completed the trilogy. There are a few that I've missed, but I think I've covered most of them. You know, the great classics of yesteryear and the newer ones that have mm -hmm. never been available, like by John Williams. Mm -hmm. Like on this new album, we feature themes like Land of the Giants, which was written by John Williams and Lost in Space, which mm -hmm. have never been on vinyl before, so it was my privilege to bring him to vinyl. Well, that's a great title for a record, Never on Vinyl. <laughs> Uh, is it difficult getting all of the rights to the themes that you want to use? Do you have to do a lot of negotiations? And well, not really, because um, all the composers will receive royalties from my record sales, so they're very happy to help me. Like on this new album, I got the Capricorn One original scores from Jerry Goldsmith. I went over to his house, and he was very enthusiastic. John Williams enjoyed my versions as well, so mm -hmm. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. Now, uh, you said that you sort of felt this completed the trilogy. Are you going to try to do more uh, theme albums, perhaps horror films, or do, or do you have other themes in mind? Well, I'm working as an executive producer on a science fiction feature now, and also I'm going to be continuing in the electronic music field and film scoring. But I'm going to do some rock and roll stuff. It'll still be sort of from outer space, but mm -hmm. I love science fiction. But I need um, a few more films before I have enough repertoire to complete another album. I see. Uh, does someone like John Williams uh, come to you when he hears that you're going to do some do the theme and make recommendations about how you might reorchestrate it? Or Occasionally, totally you? usually he has much higher priorities than <laughs> uh, knocking around with me, but I usually contact them and they're very friendly and very helpful and they give me the music out of their archives. Usually I go over to their house, so it's mm -hmm. very exciting to have them behind me. In other words, then you have a very close working rapport with the original composers. Absolutely. That was always the formula of my album is to really copy the original exactly. So anything that had never been on record before was exact like the mm -hmm. original so people would enjoy them. And then others like Star Wars, etc., which have been recorded very heavily, I do my own version. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, okay, so we won't be seeing another science fiction album from you for a while then. Maybe in 1990. 1990. <laughs> and uh, all of your records are available in the major stores, Tower Records, places like that. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, of, the, of the selections on the, on the uh, third album, what are some of your favorites? Um, I like Land of the Giants, Space 1999, number two, and The Thing, which is... Yeah, I'm glad record. you found that. Dimitri Tiomkin's score. Right. There is one other record it's on, but uh, mm -hmm. yours, the first version, or second version that's been done since mm -hmm. the film. Yeah, I was very happy with that. Yeah, that turned out really good, and oh. we played it at the beginning of the show tonight. A lot of times I had to get, like, film prints to look at the music, because there were no tapes available at all. Uh -huh. So I was really excited by the opportunity to bring all those to record. Well, Neil, thanks for coming by again. And when you do get the fourth album, we don't care what it is. Just let us know, and you'll be a guest on this show. All right, fabulous. Okay, you've got a place in our hearts. And Thank your you. albums, too.